and welcome you back to Black Sign tonight. We're gonna talk about Dr. Umar Johnson's fraud scam finally exposed. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, hit that notification button, but also comment on this video. Dr. Umar Johnson's scam and fraud has been exposed by the state of Pennsylvania. They have shut down his charitable contributions. They have basically said he is to no longer accept contributions for his school. The school we have been waiting for to be open for about 12 long years. There have been several schools open around the country by several different individuals, but Dr. Umar Johnson still hasn't opened that school possibly after receiving more than a million dollars. Yes, he says he's bought a school in Delaware and the roof was broken and the havoc is gone. Everything possible thing you can think of was wrong with the school. Why would you buy the building? I made a suggestion years ago that Dr. Umar Johnson should get a small building. And what he should have had done was started with one grade. So say you would start with the fourth grade. You would add on a grade every year to make it easier for the school to grow, for you to put in the proper in infrastructure, for you to put in the proper teachers, put in a proper board, so you can get the proper assistance that's needed for a school to grow. But Dr. Umar Johnson didn't do that. Dr. Umar Johnson felt as though he can do it all by himself. Oh, he's at St. Paul School talking about he's going to have a school to where you won't go home. Remember that? Remember that incarnation of him trying to build that school? But he settled in Delaware. And ever since he's been in Delaware, we know that school wasn't going to open. It was too big. Schools like that cost between three to five million dollars to run, and that's within a city. We're talking about one public school. It is very expensive. So what he should have did, like I said earlier, start with one grade, move up slowly, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth grade, and you would have built a good foundation for the school, and people would have kept donating to the school. Yes, Fools were still donating after five, 10, now 12 years of him to keep saying that he's going to build a school. But the state of Pennsylvania has had enough of Dr. Umar Johnson. Dr. Umar Johnson has failed. It's turning into a huge scam. But it's been a scam after about five years. It was a money making a venture that he has pocketed, giving money to strippers. We don't know what the hell he's doing with the money, putting it up his nose. I don't know what the hell he has done with all that money. For the simple fact, there is no accounting of that money. He never put out a statement telling the people, this is how much money we have in the bank. This is how much the school is gonna cost. This is how much the administration is gonna cost. This is how much we're going to need to keep the infrastructure together within the school since it's going to be a private school. To run a private school is very difficult. You almost need an endowment to run a private school. And you don't have that. Now you're stuck in a precarious situation to where you cannot get any more charitable contributions. Would he still screaming on that crack cash app? Cash app, cash app. He been kicked off PayPal because of his scam. Let me tell you something. Dr. Umar Johnson has an excellent message. It's very powerful when you listen to it. And it makes sense. And it might be true. But he's not the man to run a school. He's not the man to send a dollar to. He's not the man that should be trusted with running an institution with children in it. His ego is out of control. 
And you see what happens when some people get success. They don't know how to deal with the success. He had the opportunity to do something special, but he squandered it all the way because of his massive ego, the Prince of Pan-Africanism. Everybody loves me. I'm tired of him standing by graves of people. If it's not Frederick Douglass, it was just Rosa Parks. It's unbearable now, but it's embarrassing that people are still sending this man money, but leaving in a dream where you got charter schools popping up everywhere. He could have hooked up with the right people, put together a charter school. He could have put together that private school, but he needed to do it slowly and show black people in general that it would have been successful. But there's nothing to show. There is no school. There is no principal. There is no teacher. There is no infrastructure. There is nothing to show. But millions of dollars of lost money. And we don't know where he's at. He's on IG talking with no shirt on. That guy's nuts now. His ego has run amok. And it destroyed something that actually could have helped black children. Sometimes the message is good, but the person sending the message is not capable of implementing the message. This is why he should have brought in professionals who would have implemented the school, put everything together for him. But that means that Umar Johnson was never in control and he needs to be in control. This has been 12, 13, I don't know how many years of straight foolishness. Tricking the black people out of their money. And this is why when somebody who's actually doing something asks people for money, they get the side eye. Because of Umar Johnson, so many of Young Pharaoh, Brother Polite, so many other ones on YouTube who have gained success, brought in millions of dollars, but turned out to be scammers and frauds. People have the right to be frustrated. And I'm glad someone like Lenore Honor been on this man every week. Somebody needed to be on him every week because he was running amok throughout the community. And he's still getting paid to do speeches around the country, pretending this school is gonna be built. This school should have been built five, six, seven years ago if it was handled correctly. But the Prince of Pran Africanism is more worried about giving a speech than implementing a program for the school. Then he complains about people who happened to be critical of the way he has been running his so-called program. So where's the money? Where's the accounting for the money? Can it be a forensic accounting for millions of dollars that have gone lost and there's still people out here sending him money? The state of Pennsylvania had to stop it because there's no justification for having a charitable contribution if there's nothing to show for. Where is the money going in this charity? And it wasn't going for the kids, wasn't going for the school. Who was it going to? Was it going to the people who are working around you, keeping this scam going? Man, this is, this is disgusting. This only happens in a black community. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button. Also, share this video.